everybody. I'm Pete O'Shea. I'm Stephen Knowles, and we're from the Button Willow Civil War Theater in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Well, we've been sharing some videos here lately. Here we have. As we were doing this, uh, getting this place open, we had customers coming up to us every night saying, you know, my great-great-granddaddy was in the war, and he did butts and such. But we started thinking. Those stories are amazing, and we've got to tell them. Exactly. So that's what we've been doing for the last few weeks. We've been every Thursday night at 7 o'clock. We've been dropping a new one here on Facebook letting our guests tell their family stories. So this week's special story is, uh, is a very special one. It's even more special than the other ones are, not that the other ones aren't special. Exactly. Because these are family stories, and this person, she's a member of our family. That's right. She's an employee here at Button Willow Civil War Theater. And from the very beginning when she first joined us, she told us this story. And once we started doing these family stories, I said, well, we got to do this one. Because it's an amazing story. Fantastic. Yeah. So here for a very special Our Family Civil War Stories is our friend Vicki Love. Thanks Vicki. Hello, uh, I'm Vicki Bates. I'm from Norton, Virginia. I wanted to tell you all about my family in the Civil War. My great 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 grandfather fought in the Civil War along with a lot of his brothers. One of his brothers was a very famous man. He was called the Kentucky Giant. And later on, he got the title of the tallest man in the world. Um, he fought in the Civil War. Of course, his legs just about dragged the ground um, when he rode horses. And uh, three horses were shot out from under him. But he survived the Civil War. He was taken as a prisoner and went to Camp Chase in Ohio. I'm not sure how he got out, but he was released or he ran. I'm not sure quite what that story is there. Martin Van Buren Bates was so tall. Of course, he was a good target, and but thankfully he was never hit. He rode with the 13th Kentucky Infantry Division and then he rode with the 13th Kentucky Cavalry Division. He rode with John Hunt Morgan and fought alongside him in Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia. He was an educated man, very intelligent, but after the Civil War, he wasn't very happy being just a teacher. And a friend talked him into joining the circus. P.T. Barnum found out about him and what uh, Captain Bates didn't know at the time that was that the Barnum Circus already had the world's tallest woman. So he knew that this would be quite an act to have both of them, the tallest man in the world and the tallest woman in the world. So they met in New Jersey, they started touring, and the two giants fell in love. They were going they took a boat and they went to London and fell in love and decided to get married. In London, they were presented to Queen Victoria. She was amazed at this couple and she fell in love with them. So she wanted to be a part of the wedding. She gave them great gifts. She actually gave the material for the dress for the giant woman who was eight foot tall. Actually, she was taller than Captain Bates because he was seven, 11 and a half. They, uh, they got married there in London. Queen Victoria was there with them. They visited with her a lot. They also had a reception for the Prince of Wales and his wife and a lot of the Dukes came to the reception. They stayed there for quite a while. They loved it, but after a while they decided they wanted a place of their own. Being as tall as they were, they uh, were very uncomfortable. It was hard to find a place that they could be comfortable in because they were so tall. And they moved and bought a farm in Seville, Ohio and had a house especially built just for them the bed that would accommodate them. The ceilings were like 12 feet tall, 12 foot high. And um, 
They enjoyed life for a little while. But Anna had complications. She had two babies, several years apart. The babies were the world's largest babies. The boy weighed 23 pounds. He lived 23, I'm sorry, he lived 11 hours and he died. And the, dirt, the death certificate says that he died from exhaustion because the births was so hard on him. The first child they had was a little girl, but she was born dead. All this had quite an impact on Anna, and Anna died in her sleep when she was 41.